guys, Munchies here, and today in this video, we're going to go over the Can't Stop, Won't Stop side quest, specifically the uh, battle arena portion and the fight where you have to go through the 10 Tonberries. So the first thing you want to do is you want to have revive materia on all of your characters. You want to um, ATV action through Scourge if you're using a ranged character. So I think it actually kind of helps to have a ranged character. You can kind of single them out one by one. So I use Barret. Uh, finish off one of them at a time at the start. And be careful not to hit more than one at the start. Because um, then they'll start casting Scourge at these weird intervals. And it makes it really annoying to dodge. Instead of having to dodge just once, you're dodging over and over and over again. And you don't want to do that. So you can either set Barret as lead. And if you don't have him set as lead, you can just quickly switch to him at the start of the fight. Um, and what you want to do is get one of them to trigger onto you as soon as you can. And once you have them kind of out of the group, just start picking them off one by one. They'll start casting Scourge. You can overcharge through it with Barret, or you can start using um, ATB actions through it. Because when you use ATB actions, you kind of get like super armor through these Scourge shots. So it's also important to note that you do not want to guard these. Um, if you guard these for any reason, you will get stunned and it won't work but you can definitely atv action through them now when they cast doom and gloom this is when you use an atv action of some sort uh like if you hit them with like a focus shot or something and they'll start shooting this giant purple massive ball at you and it'll insta kill you so avoid that at all costs now what i did and this kind of helped but this also kind of bit me in the butt um you once you get them all clumped up like so when they're all full health if they're all clumped up like this you can cast like a really big spell and like a Fireaga, Bazaga, whatever. It'll all all of these spells will knock them up into the air and they'll fall onto the ground. Ideally, you want to just cast two level three spells back to back and then avoid the doom and glooms after you do this. So I cast like a Fireaga here. As you can see, it does like a decent amount of their health. But um, what you want to do is you want to get out. Don't be greedy like this and eat the doom and glooms of the face. Uh, this is why you carry the revive, but other than that, once you can get them like low enough, like as you can see, they're pretty low on health, you can start clipping them down like one by one uh, with like a braver or a dive kick or whatever single target you have. Then when you're attacking these guys with melee characters, be careful to go in, do a hit, and then get out because you don't want to get chef knifed. But other than that, um, it's pretty straightforward. It's just a little annoying and tedious. If you do end up on your back foot, kind of like I did here, um, you can recover pretty simply by just attacking and then just get out and just slowly build your ATV gauge. Uh, if you have the ATV assist materia, it helps a lot here. Um, yeah, if anyone's down, just go ahead and revive them. It's also important to note that once they get low enough, if you don't kill them while they're low, they'll, uh, they'll do like a grudge attack, a bone deep grudge. And what it does is it does like a giant circle around them so you just want to get away from them so that it doesn't hit you but yeah this quest is a little tedious because if you fail any one of the five fights you have to restart back from the cactuars if you need to build atv on the melee characters just get in hit once get out um just avoid getting hit directly from scourge you can atv through them just be patient uh it takes a little while to get into the group of it but once you do it it's not too horrible if you use any kind of ATV action of them, just remember to get out of Doom and Gloom. You can just dodge roll out of the way. And once they get low enough, you can just finish them off with like a hard-hitting ATV move. And yeah, eventually it'll be zero. You can also synergy combo through the Scourges. So if you see a Scourge coming towards one of your guys, you can use a synergy combo on them. And not only does it stop the Scourge, it stops them from doing attacks for a moment. And you can just kind of lay into that one specific one. But uh, yeah, uh, that's it for this video. And if you guys know of any better way to do this, or if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.